The muscalonge, or muskie, is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. This bull shark has swim her final swim. According to the county administrator, Chuck Hucklebridge, the lack of effectiveness of piecemeal technocratic solutions here can only be solved with more piecemeal technocratic solutions. Freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. With its wary eyes and robust physique, the grouper is the very picture of brute strength. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home, and let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris.
There are 70-year-olds who survive gator attacks with nothing but a golf club. Come on. The Fawtick Bayou area has lost 63 acres of marshland due to saltwater intrusion. feeding makes for a fascinating, if not slightly nauseating, spectacle. This influence is communicated to the shark's brain. It recognizes that a potential meal is near. If it makes you feel better, I ate the heck out of some crockpot alligator killed bassa bites earlier. A peculiar biological adaptation allows the bull to survive in fresh water.
I suppose it's time to find another shark, huh? According to the county administrator, Chuck Hucklebridge, the lack of effectiveness of piecemeal technocratic solutions here can only be solved with more piecemeal technocratic solutions. That shark really popped on screen. Some shark species practice cannibalism in utero.
This instantized protein makes a great between-meal supplement, giving the shark the energy she needs to put on serious mass. is a driving force for the bullshit. demonstrates the importance of getting enough minerals in her diet. Alligator comes from the Spanish El Lagarto, which means the lizard, which really isn't that interesting. Rising sea levels have made once unreachable corners of the bayou accessible. The shark is now a team, and we should expect much angst, ennui, and poor decision making. 